Hey loves, happy Friday. Yay, it is Friday, January the 3rd. I just wanna say happy new year to all of you guys. It is 2020, yay. This is my first daily in the new year. So let it be great spirit come through, yes. So happy new year everyone. I hope you guys have a beautiful yet amazing 2020 all right i'm in my office and i'm looking at um this plaque that's on my wall that my really great friend gave me um it says thinking of a master plan so i don't know why that's coming to me i just feel like um for 2020 that's what you guys are going to be doing thinking of a master plan if you haven't already all right if you haven't it's time to think of a master plan okay i know you guys are like wait we didn't get the hello 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 beautiful people um i don't know guys this is my third year on the tube and i just kind of wanted to change it up a little bit and um yeah i don't know i may go back to it but for right now it's hey loves so I'm trying something different. I may go back to it. I'm not sure yet. All right, guys, don't be mad. It's still me, fire intuition. All right, so let's definitely hop into this daily reading. Let's see what is coming in for you guys um, for the weekend as a collective. Do keep in mind that this is general. It's not going to resonate with all of you guys. And um, yeah, only take what resonates with you. Please don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. Do hit the notification bell. I feel like I'm missing something. I don't know. If you guys would love to book a personal reading with me, fireintuition.com, or you guys can check the description box below. There is a special post-it there also. And Capricorn, happy birthday. It is your season. You guys do get $10 off um, personal readings with me. The code is in the description box below. If you're not a Capricorn, do not use a promo code, alrighty? Because um, I had an issue before, guys, and I don't want to start the new year off on those shady bs okay um so yeah everything is in the description box below so let's definitely hop into the reading let's see what messages are going to come out for you guys um for the weekend um i'm going to use the affirmators love and relationships um deck this is what the deck looks like i've got so many emails and texts and you know like messages about this deck um i used it last well i've been using it with content but I used it in the daily, I want to say Monday, I'm not sure. But we have the maturity card and that's where this came from. It's on Amazon and they actually just reduced the price. It's a knock knock product. I think it's like 11, 12, 13 bucks, something like that or 14 bucks. It's something like that. But it's, I love it. I love all knock knock products. I told you guys, their journals are amazing. Their notepads are amazing. I just love knock knock products. So yeah so let's definitely hop in guys and let's see personal readings are coming if you're waiting for a year-round reading it is coming i know i have a few that i'm still doing um like i told you guys the year-round readings um they just kind of suck me dry sometimes because the reading can be like over an hour um some are like two hours long it just all depends on your energy um so if you are waiting for um, a personal reading those are coming and if you're waiting for a year-round reading just give me a little bit more time those are coming i promise all right so let's hop in, guys, and let's see what we got. Let's see what's coming in. The weekend. Aren't you guys excited? It's like 2020. This is the year of stability, abundance, prosperity. Um, we're mastering lessons this year. All right. So I'm loving this already. So let's see what we got. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Spirit, what beautiful message do you have for us? All right, let me pay attention because I feel like something tried to flip over, but I wasn't looking. I always close my eyes. Let's see. We have levity. Levity. Oh, wait. No, that's not at the bottom. Sorry. We have giving. You guys know I'm going to take the message at the bottom. So it says giving. Hmm. I welcome the idea of give and take in my relationships. Let me go back. I welcome the idea of give and take in my relationships. And I eagerly practice the give part. By giving freely, I discovered just how fun giving really is. Giving my time, care, and attention to someone else actually gives me good feelings, which makes me want to give even more. Wait a sec. Does this selfishness make me look selfish? Be honest. I love this, guys. You know why? 
Guys, this is powerful as F-U-C-K, okay? The reason why I say that is because at the bottom it says, wait a sec, does this selfishness make me look selfish? Be honest, okay? And look how she's in the mirror looking at herself and she has a gift in her hand, but we're gonna go back to the middle of it. It says, I discovered just how fun giving really is. Giving my time, care, and attention to someone else actually gives me good feelings. Yeah, it gives you good feelings, but are you receiving from giving and the first sentence says i welcome the idea of give and take in my relationships and i eagerly practice the give part meaning like you guys are working on giving too much you're giving too much of yourself are you have are you do and it's time for you guys to receive and that's why she's in the mirror with the gift in her hand and she's holding it close to her because she's like hmm, should i give anything else to this relationship should i give anything else to this person should I keep giving? Um, when am I going to receive? Because she's waiting for a gift. She's waiting for something in return. Okay? So, this is a very powerful message, guys. Look at the image. Okay? I just want you guys to take a look at it. Um, definitely loving this. Okay? That is our spirit message for today. Alrighty? Um, I'm using the affirmators in the content as well. Alright? So, very powerful, guys. And um, before we hop in, because I've been getting a lot of personals, are just people asking me, like, oh, I've been seeing 111, 222, 333, 444. I know my person's coming back. I know this. I know that. And I'm not trying to say this in that kind of way. So do not get upset or do not get mad with me, guys. But when you guys are seeing repeated numbers, 111, 222, 333, 444, please put yourself first and think about your alignment. Okay? Because when I get personal readings sometimes and when people message me, they're like, oh, I keep seeing 111 um, or 1111. That's my person coming back. I know. And just like that giving part. Give to yourself. When you see those numbers, focus on your alignment. Maybe your angels are trying to tell you that it's time for a new beginning. Maybe they're trying to tell you it's time for a fresh start. Maybe they're trying to communicate with you. Maybe the fours are about stability, stable, being stable, security, stability, all that. Maybe the threes are communication. Maybe you're needing to clear your throat chakra. Maybe you're needing to, communi needing to communicate to someone. Maybe someone's trying to communicate to you. Or maybe that's your angels just trying to communicate to you and tell you something or put you on the right path or, you know, um, realign you. Are realigning so I'm not trying to say it like this guys but when you guys get repeated numbers or synchronicities think about yourself first and don't always make it um, romantic or look at it as um, or don't look at it don't look at it in the romantic aspect like oh this is that person I know there because it's a message or oh I keep seeing her name da, da, da. especially when you're seeing like 111 or 1111 and then you're seeing her name it's like the universe is trying to tell you that it's time for you to realign your energy when it comes to that person and that's why you're getting signals and names and you're seeing certain things because maybe your energy is way too focused on that person that situation and I'm not saying that's for all of you guys so do not get upset but I'm just saying we need to think about ourselves and put ourselves first when we see the numbers of synchronicities and things like that and not base it on that person love or oh yeah it keeps an 11 11 i know my twin flame is coming in i know love is coming in okay so i'm just saying guys um just think about yourself now okay um self-love is the best love putting yourself first just like that giving card all righty so let's definitely hop in and let's see what we got for you guys as a collective i'm going to start out with some energy oracles and then work my way down. I don't know what else I'm going to do. You guys know I'm just going to pull some cards and pull some messages for you. All right. So, Spirit, what messages do you have for us for the weekend? Today is January the 3rd. And this energy will be through Sunday, January the 5th. All right. Spirit, what messages do you have for us as a collective? We have indecision. We have number eight. We have contract. Six is about balance. All right, let's see. Some of you guys are in a soul contract with someone, and there's an indecision. You don't know whether or not you're going to stay or go. You could be walking away from someone. We have magician in the mirror at the bottom. We have man holding a heart, so this definitely makes sense. You guys have, you guys are in a soul contract with someone, okay? Actually, you guys have, for some of you guys, you're in a situation where you know your twin flame, but there's a soulmate in your life, and you're making a decision, and you're like, okay, I'm leaving my twin flame to be with my soulmate, or... I'm going to stay with my twin flame and end it with the soulmate. Or for some of you guys with this indecision, there can be two soulmates in your life. Or you're dealing with someone and you're a soulmate to them. And they have a soulmate in their life as well. And there's some type of indecision. Or you're a twin flame to them or a soulmate to them. And they're dealing with their twin flame. Either or. Take a how it matters. I mean, take a how it resonates. And it doesn't even have to be a twin flame situation. It could be. We have the contract card here. We have magician in the mirror. 
um, someone's trying to manifest some type of new beginning with you or something that's finally manifesting for you in the matters of love. It's going to be positive, but it's, it has to do with a soul contract. So this is someone that you asked to be with or you guys are finally coming back together, reconciling in this lifetime. Um, you guys can be meeting a past life soulmate that is coming in. Um, so your souls are going to recognize each other. This can already be someone that you know, but we do have the indecision card here. Okay. Um, I feel like this is more so their energy. It could be yours. Okay, because you guys have manifested something. We have two eights here. 53 breaks down to eight. We have eight here. And then we have six balance. One of these relationships are going to be better, healthier, more balanced. Um, there's going to be an equal give and take in this situation. This can also be someone from your past or a past love returning that you already know from a past life, if you guys believe in that. If not, this is just like someone from your past, number six, the past, balance, stuff like that. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have 45. This is nine. And then look, we have two nines here. What did I just tell you guys? Can't make this shit up. You guys um, have man holding a heart. This is someone new coming in. Or this is someone finally opening their heart to you. Finally ready. There was a completion. There was an ending. There was a cycle that ended. Okay, that's how we have this indecision. That doesn't mean cycle ending or completing. But there's going to be an indecision because it's like now they're offering their heart, their love, their feelings, their emotions to you after you walked away. Or you guys are walking away because what? 27 breaks down to what? Nine. Okay. And you were looking back for a minute, kind of confused, not sure if you wanted to stay or go. You know, um, some of you guys are still, you know, contemplating. But then we have the man, a man holding a heart. So I feel like you guys are kind of torn. Like I said, it could be twin flame to soulmate, two soulmates. Take it how it resonates. And we have the man holding a heart. Okay. Um, and I see that you guys are going towards someone i just feel like you guys don't know yet just what like you don't know which way you're going yet or they don't or they're coming towards you under that we do have deceit someone could be walking away from a deceitful situation maybe they're walking away from being deceitful maybe there was deceit and deception in the past and they're coming towards you trying to open their heart to you finally okay um is another way i'm seeing it and then we have cornucopia though we have fourth chakra and we have the angel of love so i feel like you guys are you guys are needing to really make a decision, okay? Because we have cornucopia. A lot of blessings are going to be within, within this relationship. This is a blessed union, a blessed relationship. And we have the fourth chakra. Archangel Raphael is here to heal both of you guys' hearts. Are, there's been a lot of healing, a lot of work done. Um, and you guys have done it separately, okay? Um, or you guys are coming together and healing this relationship together. Alrighty. Um... That would be Amazon. Is that Amazon? No, that's UPS. Sorry, guys. Give me one sec. All right, guys. Sorry about that. I had a sign for a package. So, yeah. So, some of you guys are walking away. And it's, like, weird because I feel like this person, for some of you guys, they don't want you to walk away or they don't want you, like, yeah, they don't want to see you walk away or they don't want you to walk away. But um, there's been an indecision on their part. For some of you guys. And you guys are walking away because they can't seem to make a decision. Okay? Um, and then we have the angel of love. Like I said, we have the thinking woman. So a lot of you guys have a lot of thinking to do. Or you're going to be thinking a lot over the weekend. Like, what should I do? Should I walk away? Because for some of you guys, if you walk away from this, it's like a soulmate is coming in. Okay? Or someone is coming in. So you're walking away. And not to say it like this, but some of you guys can be going towards something better. Or you're just going towards someone that is more open, loving, generous, um... And that's why we have the man holding a heart, okay? Someone that's open. And then we have the door to value. And we have the thinking man. See? Yeah. Wow. See? The thinking man door to value. So like I said, this can be a blessed relationship, a blessed union. Um, the door to value doesn't even just have to be money. It can just be the door to value that you're going in where you're in a relationship and they know your worth. And this person is like, oh, you're beautiful. I know, you're, you know, I know your worth. I see your worth. They're treating you as a queen. They're calling you a queen. For some of you guys, they may call you a queen or... It's like they're they're taking you out. They're doing nice things for you. Um, and this is this situation is just totally different from your person or it's totally different from what you're used to. Okay? So it doesn't have to be money. Maybe they do have a lot of money. This thinking man, they could be wealthy, could be the case. Um, doesn't have to be. But it's like you're you're going through the door of value. You're going through something that is this can be valuable to you or this relationship is gonna be valuable to you. Like you're gonna you, you have, I feel like it's something I cannot explain until you are in this relationship, okay? And then we do have the storm warning and we have the journey, 
Okay, and we have a door to spirit. So some of you guys were with someone and they helped you grow and evolve. It put you through some situations. Okay, you were on a, a journey with that person. Okay, the storm warning card. Um, it it brought out of uh, out of a lot in you, like within you. I mean, um, emotionally, mentally, physically, spiritually. You guys just went through a lot in that situation, and you're going through the door of spirit too. Or I feel like the 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 door of spirit is telling me like spirit is helping you get through the next door. Okay, so you're closing one door, opening a new door, going into something new. Yeah, the healer of ages. I can just go on and on and on with the um energy oracles. Healer of ages. So this is gonna be a healing relationship or this person is healing you are you guys are going um going through your next phase of healing. Um I look at it as phases because we go through phases of healing and I don't care what no one says, no one is ever a hundred percently healed, okay. Um, no one. When they're like, oh, when you're fully healed, you guys to come together. No one is going to ever be fully healed. That's impossible. Okay? But when you're healing and doing the work, you will, you grow and evolve from it. Okay? All right? Um, so, yeah. Let's see what else we got, guys. Let's see. Let's see. Let's pull some tarot. All right? So, let's see. What else we got? What else we got? See, spirit universe, love messages for January 3rd to the 5th. So, yeah, you guys have some type of indecision. And you see on the contract card, the person is blindfolded. Because there's something coming in that you don't see. Okay? But like I told you, it's going to be a soul contract. Or this is like, you're coming out of a contract or a soul contract. Some of you guys are coming out of marriages. You're, if, if this is resonating with the work, um, or if it's like a work situation, you guys are coming out of some type of work contract. There's been an indecision, okay? And you're manifesting something way better for you. And the man holding a heart is, is going to be someone that's opening themselves up to a new opera. Like, okay, so how can I say it? It's like you may meet someone or go to a job interview or there can be just someone around you and they know that you're looking for work or they might lead you to someone that is hiring or this person or your manager, it might be a male and they're just really nice, loving, generous and really open and they might be... It might be a situation where they're like, oh, we're not really hiring, but, you know, I can use you anyway. Or, you know, I can start you off here. And then after 30 days, 90 days, you know, like they're doing everything with an open heart. They're really trying to help you. Okay. Um, for some of you guys, you guys can be going to a staffing agency and be on a short term contract or something. And then it's like the job may hire you on. Okay. After like so long, I keep hearing 30 and 90 days. So for some of you guys, maybe it's 30 to 90 days into a divorce, 30 to 90 days into like you're fully hired in or something like that. Because I'm hearing there's some type of um, restriction with your job. Like you can't be late or something about the first 30 or 90 days. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but that, that's for some for somebody. So let's see what this indecision is about. Why is the indecision card here? And the number eight is, that's like the strength card. That's um, Leo energy in the tarot. But that's about strength, wisdom, courage. Okay? Inner strength. All right? So, let's see. Why is the indecision card here? Seven of pentacles. Yeah. So, you guys are the, you guys are contemplating where you're going to plant your seeds. Okay? This can be with work. This can be romantically. Seven of pentacles is something that you're investing, investing in or something that you're already invested in. Okay, this can be a relationship that was seven years or longer. Um, but if not, I feel like this new person coming in is going to be a long-term relationship with this seven of pentacles being here. But you see how she has a flower in her hand. There's a pentacle. There's a pentacle on the side of her head. Like there's a flower. There's a pentacle there. And this is you guys planting that new seed. There's an indecision because you don't know which way you're going to go yet. But I feel like over the weekend, you're going to take that time to really think about it. So you're like, okay, am, am I going to plant my seed in this? Am I going to plant my seed in this? situation or am I just going to focus on work you know and let love flow in this person is offering me this should I take this should I take that so I feel like you guys are just you know doing a lot of contemplating thinking remember with that giving card who should you give into where what relationship are you going to receive in because remember the last line wait a sec does this selfishness make me look selfish be honest okay because this is telling me that if you're in a relationship or a situation now or if you meet someone and you're giving too much of yourself, as soon as you tell this person, no, I can't, I won't, there's going to be a problem. Oh, you're selfish. You're mean. You, why are you, you know, it's going to be a problem. And that's why I read the card the way I did. I can see the energy all up and through that card. Okay. So with that, yeah, see, look, we have the queen of cups. You're following your heart. What makes you happy? Okay. With the queen of cups here and the seven of pentacles. So you guys are needed to make some type of decision, okay? 
So I just feel like follow your heart, okay? And the rest will come in for you. Abundance, love, happiness, success, all of that. All right, we do have this contract card here. Let's see how the contract card is here. Let's see what this is about. Wow, Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, the start of something new. For a lot of you guys, this is work. This is a lump sum of money coming in. You guys are signing new contracts. Some of you guys are going to get married this year. Or you're meeting the person that you're going to marry this year. Okay, with the Ace of Pentacles in the contract card. For some of you guys, yeah. Wow. Yeah, this is really good. This is great energy. Okay. Um, let's see. Go into the Ace of Pentacles. Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Why is the Ace of Pentacles here? Wow. This is something that is going to grow and be long term whether this is love or work this is going to be beautiful this is going to be stable you are going to be happy we have the sun we have leo energy loving it and look what's at the bottom the star a wish coming true okay but this is you guys also taking that time to heal are you guys been taking the time to heal are you guys have been going through your healing process and you're being rewarded and the contract is here okay um and i feel like the contract and why she's blindfolded is because you didn't see this coming in Okay, for some of you guys, this is work-related. For others of you, this is a commitment or a relationship. You are meeting the person that you're going to marry this year. And we do have a star here. And we have the seven of wands. You're no longer fighting your healing process. You're not fighting it anymore. You're putting your wands down. You're, you guys are like, you guys are at the point where you're like, I'm ready to heal. I'm not going to fight it anymore. You're like, I'm ready for this love, this abundance, whatever it is, work, whatever. You guys are ready for it and you're not fighting it anymore. Look what's at the bottom, the strength card, number eight. So we have three eights here, eight, 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 amazing energy, okay? So let's see why the magician in the mirror is here. This looks really, really amazing, guys. I'm loving this, loving it. All right, let's see. Why is the magician in the mirror here? Wow, the hermit. And look, don't they, um, the backgrounds, they don't look alike, but I see like the shimmering and stuff like that. But with the hermit, this is great. I love this, okay, because a hermit is about enlightenment, soul searching, go within, reflecting. This is you thinking about your future. This is you thinking about what you want. The hermit is very wise, very knowledgeable, someone that has went through a lot, that has been through a lot. They've mastered a lot of lessons. This is someone thinking of a master plan, and it is manifesting for you, okay, with the hermit being here. And I'm loving this Virgo energy. Wow, this is beautiful. This is amazing. Let's see why the hermit is here. Go into the hermit. Five of wands. You guys are coming out of inner conflict with yourselves with the hermit and the five of wands. You guys are, like I said, you're tired of fighting battles. This is you guys coming out of inner conflict. That's how you're going within. Some of you guys are going to withdraw yourselves, you know, from people um, I don't really feel like you're going to go in like hermit mode, like just be so distant. But I feel like last year you guys cut off a lot of people. And this year it's like you're dealing with people, but it's like you're taking your time. You're taking that slow approach. You're going within. You're really asking yourself, does like, do you see this person serving a purpose in your life? And I'm not trying to say it like that, but it's like you guys are at the point where you guys are meeting people. And you're really asking yourself, like, do I see myself um, being a friend with this person? Do I see myself having a relationship with this person? Do I see this friendship or this relationship growing, evolving, going somewhere? When I was doing Leo's reading yesterday, I forgot what card they have um, had. It was about, um, where is it at? I for, I, when I see it, I'll know it. It was about, um, Damn, Leo. Oh, debt. It's right here. And I'm going to read it real fast. It says, as new people show up in my life, I look for all the weird, wonderful, complex layers below their surface. I can't be surprised by someone's depth of character unless I'm willing to peel back the outer layers and go a little deeper. It's like the brand new saying goes, don't judge an onion by its haircut. Meaning like when you cut an onion, sometimes we cry. Sometimes our eyes water. Okay. Um... And I was telling Leo when they got this for their message in the beginning of their reading, it's like this year, because Leo has such a big heart, or just you guys in general, it's like when you guys meet new people or as new people come into your life, it's like you guys need to go a little bit deeper. You guys need to go a little bit beneath the surface. Don't be so open. Don't be so trusting. Don't be so giving. Don't be so quick to say, I'm in love. This is my new friend. This is my future husband. Get 
put yourself in a place where you're really getting to know someone so that you won't be this onion. Meaning so that you won't be crying, hurting, sensitive, eyes watering in your feelings about something not going somewhere, not going far. Something that is not growing. But we have the sun here with the ace of pentacles. So friendships, romantic love situations, whatever, all that is, it's, it's telling me like this is something that is going to grow. But you have to take the time to really get to know that person and do what is best for you and not base your friendships, relationships, family ships or whatever on that person. It's about you. Okay, and it's about you loving and nurturing yourself and being open to receive because for a lot of you guys, you have given way too much and that's how you're receiving all this abundance and happiness and love that is coming in for you guys. All right, so um, love the fact that the five of wands is there with the hermit. You're coming out of inner conflict for sure. Okay, let's see why the man is holding a heart. Why is this man holding a heart? Wow, wow, you guys know I can't sing, but I'm going to hit a note for you guys. It's the new year. What did I tell you guys? Ace of mother and cups right here, okay? The man holding my heart with the ace of cups. This is a new love. This is you guys, what, smelling the roses, doing you, feeling attractive, stepping out in nature, living your best life in 2020. And there's a man holding a heart that's coming in. For some of you guys, when I told you this is work-related, this is you like emotionally fulfilled. This is the start of something new. Your cup is being filled. And I told you that there's someone around you that's very open, that's genuine, that's going to help you. They're going to help you get a job or they're going to help you advance or grow in a job. They're going to direct you to someone that is hiring. They're going to put you on a contract, um, take you to a staffing agency. There's something like that that this person is doing. Okay, let's see what else we got with this Ace of Cups. This is beautiful. Okay, this is beautiful. I even want to clarify the giving card, you know, because I don't know why, but I just feel like I want to. But let's see why this Ace of Cups is here with the man holding a heart. This is amazing. Wow, look, Knight of Pentacles. This is something that's going to grow. This is that. This is this is beautiful. The Knight of Pentacles, practical, tradition, love, marriage, commitment, stable. Okay, someone that's crossing their T's, dotting their I's, someone that you can trust, that's loyal, honest, dependable, reliable, responsible. But the Knight of Pentacles moves move slow, which is telling me that what Spirit is trying to say is let this love come in, but take your time to get to know and love this person so that this relationship can fully grow and be of success with this Ace of Pentacles in the sun. Because whoever this is coming into your life, they want long term, they want security, they want stability, they want tradition, they want a family, they want children, they want marriage. And if you guys aren't, um, if you guys aren't having children, it's like they're accepting your children, you're accepting their children. This is beautiful. And look, yeah, the lovers at the bottom. Okay. Um, for others of you, this is work related. It's like with the Knight of Pentacles, something is moving a little slow. You're happy, you're fulfilled emotionally by it, but you know it's going to be a success. We have the Ace of Pentacles in the sun. So you may be like, remember I kept saying 30 to 90 days, you may be stuck in an energy for that time, or you may be going through some type of phase and cycle. Or like I said, if you're starting a new job, maybe they have like some 30, 90 day rule, whatever, but it's going to turn into the Ace of Pentacles in the sun. So just being that Knight of Pentacles energy for what, three months, it's not going to hurt you. It's not going to kill you. Okay, for some of you guys, maybe the first three months, you need to really take your time to get to know someone and then it's going to grow into love. Okay, but you know, we could not help how fast we love someone, fall in love with them and all that. So I'm not telling you guys to hold back your feelings or anything. I'm just saying really take your time to get to know this person. Okay, um, so some of you guys just need to take it. So and look what's behind the lovers. Guys, I can't make this up. Look what's behind the lovers. The temperance card. I mean, not temperance. The ten of cups and look the empress card in the higher fit. Didn't I tell you that you guys are meeting your husband this year? What did I tell you guys? I told you guys you're meeting your husband this year. I just told you guys that. All right. This is your husband. This is that family situation. That Ten of Cups. This is the Empress. This is you being married, a mother. Some of you guys are finally becoming a mother, becoming a mother. Some of you guys are already mothers. Some of you guys have like um pink hair or like some um purplish pink or like a magenta color. Um, you have a daughter, they have a teddy bear that's either always in your room or on their bed. Some of you guys look very young. You don't look like you're a mother. You may have three children. You may have three girls. You may have two girls now and you're going to have a third girl with this person. You guys are going to have a dog. You guys are around someone that's a dog lover. You and this person may be like the same height or this person may be a little bit taller than you. For others of you, this person is taller than you. 
for some of you guys, you're going to finally become mothers this year. Okay, so I feel like you can be a little bit younger, under 30. You guys are going to become mothers this year for sure. All right. Um, and then we have a higher font commitment. Okay, that's our teacher. Like I said, some of you guys have mastered a lesson. And look, look what's under the higher font. The will of fortune in the world card. What did I tell you guys? I told, I'm not, guys, follow your heart. Follow your heart. Okay. You're meeting your husband or wife this year. And you have nothing but abundance, happiness, and prosperity coming in. All right. So let's see why the giving card is here. I just, I'm just curious. And then we're going to move forward. I'm going to do the spirit message and I'm going to close it out. So let's see why the giving card is here. Spirit, please clarify this giving card. Why is the giving card here? What did I tell you guys? Do not short yourself. Look what came out. Seven of swords. And see that person in the back, they're waiting for you to give. This is someone that is so used to you. Look, nine of wands, feeling defeated. Six of pentacles, giving way too much. That's why the giving card is there. I told you guys I cannot make this up. Stop giving so much to people and stop giving so much to your relationships, friendships, family ships, co-worker ships, whatever ship or whatever situation you're in. Allow yourself to receive. Please allow yourself to receive. Okay? Um, so let's pull some additional messages. And then... Um, Yeah, let's pull some additional messages and then we will pull um, the love oracles, all right? So, Spirit, what additional messages do you have for the collective? Why is this indecision card here? And we have toll and labor. Yeah, see, so some of you guys um, are needing to make a decision about work, toll and labor. Some of you guys feel like you're overworked, underpaid. Some of you guys are just ready for something new, Um 38 breaks down to 11. That's a new beginning here. Yep, see, we have coffee 19. That's a 10. So, one new beginning. Yeah, something is ending, and you guys are planting new seeds. So, some of you guys are um, you're having an indecision about work, not love. Some of you guys, you're torn whether you should stay or go. Um, let's see why contract is here. We have a lot of cards. I'm not taking all those. Sorry, guys. That was like five cards. I just want one card, spirit. All right, why is contract here? What did I just tell you guys? What did I just say? What did I just say? I love when spirit comes through and confirms everything that I've just said. Marriage. Some of you guys are what? Meeting the person you are marrying this year. For others of you, you're coming out of a marriage and you're going to meet someone. You may not marry this person this year, but you're meeting someone that you're going to marry maybe next year or the next couple years. I don't know, but we have a marriage card. We have contract. The sun is here with the ace of pentacles. You're meeting the person that you're going to marry this year. Okay, guys, and look, your journey is starting. Something new is starting. We have the journey card twice, okay? So we have Magician in the Mirror. Let's see why this is here. Why is Magician in the Mirror here? Oh, no. It fell on the ground. Let me pull one more. I don't know what it was. It fell face up. You guys, you guys know I don't um, read cards off the ground. So we have gifts. So there's a gift coming in. But I feel like this is, you manifested this, and this is a gift from the universe. Okay, and it could come in the matters of love or it's coming in the matters of um, work. Okay, and look, another eight. We have four eights in this reading. Beautiful. Okay, so let's pull your love oracles. All right. And then I may do a spirit message. I'm not sure. Let's do a spirit message. Let's see. Spirit, give me three messages. All right, we have heartbroken, deeply hurt, sad, separation, breakup, feeling lost, grieving, mourning. So that's the indecision here, okay? So remember I told you some of you guys are needed to make a decision. Remember we have the walk away card. Some of you guys are walking away from a situation um, because you're deeply hurt, you're sad. Due to separation, there has been some breakup. You're feeling lost and that's why the indecision can be here. You're grieving, you're mourning, you're healing. You're coming out of some type of heartbreak, okay? This heartbreak doesn't have to just be in love. This can be with work. Maybe you were at a job for a really long time and it's time for you to separate. There's some type of ending, something like that, okay? Um, let's see how the contract card is here wow clock need time takes time 
in time cycles time to heal progress so what did i tell you guys i said you guys have been starting your healing uh process right so because you guys have taken the time and you allowed yourself to come out of cycles and you're making progress it's bringing in what something new so the clock is here you guys have been doing the work for a lot of you guys you delayed it you were taking your time Okay, for some of you guys, I'm looking at this as a good sign. It's like you guys are taking your time to heal and get over a situation that you guys are heartbroken in. And now that you have taken your time to heal and actually do the work, this is what's coming in for you. Okay, um, so let's see why Magician in the Mirror is here. Actually, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull a Soul Coaching Oracle. Let's see what our soul needs to know or wants to know at this time. Yeah, I'm going to do that. We have cassettes, all right? And it says outdated thinking, conditioning, replaying events over in your head. So magician in the mirror. So you guys, um, I love this. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. So I love this because it says outdated thinking, conditioning. So you guys are stuck in tradition or conditioned to something. Oh, something has to be this way. I have to stay with this person. Oh, they're the father of my child. Oh, I'm staying with them for the kids. I have to do this. I have to do that. And you guys are, are you guys are finally seeing that by coming out of that outdated thinking and that outdated energy and finally manifesting what it is and putting yourself first and thinking about you and what's making you happy and not standing anything, not standing in a situation that's keeping you stuck, stagnant, where you're not happy. You are actually manifesting and bringing in the things that you want. This can be in love or this can be in work. So I'm loving this. Okay. And under that, we have the self-indulgence. Yeah. Cause you're finally doing what you love. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, self-appreciation. And that's what you're focusing on yourself for a change. You're not staying in situations because or I'm supposed to or I need to or I'm doing it for them or because. No, you're thinking about yourself. Let's see why this man is holding um, a heart. Okay, man holding a heart. Let's see why this man is holding a heart. Um, we have... Thief that came out. Give me one more. The thief card doesn't have to be bad, but I just want more confirmation. I feel like this is a person that's coming in that's going to steal your heart. Yep, see? This is that mature man that's coming in. So you guys have a mature man, someone that's mature. So I feel like your last person could have been immature, childish, and they stole your heart, meaning like you were in love with them. But you have someone coming in that's way mature. The five is all about change. Six is all about balance. And it's like, I feel like this person is going to steal your heart. Meaning like you're, they're going to, you're going to meet them and you're going to fall in love with them. You're like, they're going to steal your heart. You're going to be like, wow, like this is what love feels like. Um, give me one more message just to clarify. Damn, we have so many messages that came out. Yep, see, we have privileged lady and we have, yeah, we have privileged lady. And we have, not, oh, the message card, okay? So this is a message coming in from them. But this person is going to treat you like the privileged lady, okay? They're going to treat you. They know your worth. They know your worth. And there's a message coming in. I wonder what this message is about. You guys know I'm nosy. There's going to be some type of confusion. Yeah, we have the seven of cups, the world card. We have the will of fortune. The world card is looking back at the seven of cups. Is that something I want to go back into? So I feel like as soon as you guys move on or let something go or make a decision, someone, because this is about a choice, a decision. There is confusion. The world card is here. You're ending a cycle. The will of fortune, things are turning in your favor. You're moving forward with this mature man that is treating you like the privileged lady that you are. They know your worth. Okay. Look what's at the bottom of this deck. Mature woman. This is a matured, relate like a mature relationship. You guys are on the same page. You guys are going to steal each other's heart. There's going to be a lot of love and abundance in this relationship. All right. Um, loving this energy. So let's pull one more message for the man holding our heart. And that would be our reading. Passion. Look, insane chemistry. Like each other equally. Having fun. What did I just say? You guys were going to do what? Steal each other's heart? I'm putting my cards down. I'm done for today. Because everything I just said, what came out? It was confirmed. All right. So I'm going to use Denise Lynn's love these um, oracles, um, soul coaching oracle cards. Okay. So let's see what our soul is needing to know or wanting to know at this time. Okay. Spirit universe, what does our soul need or want to know for this weekend? Wow. This came right out. Beauty. And it says, I am deeply and profoundly beautiful. Yes, the fuck you are. Beauty, okay? I'm going to read it, 
I'm going to hold the card up as I read. All right, let's see what the beauty card has to say. I believe they are in order, yeah, because there's no number on here. And I was going to read this intuitively, but I feel like there's an additional message in here. Okay, so this, um, it has two meanings, okay? But remember I asked what your soul is wanting or needing to know. So I'm going to read the part that says your soul wants you to know, okay? So with the beauty card, what your soul wants you to know is that the more you see beauty around you in your environment yourself in your body the more it will fill your life in all forms never say anything about yourself or your body that's negative don't put yourself down silently silently or to others instead affirm beauty and take time to adorn your body in personal space take a lush a luxurious bath do your nails have a message no i'm sorry have a massage or create a home altar cherish yourself and Oh, wait, it says cherish yourself within you and around you will grow. Okay, so yeah, cherish yourself so the beauty within you or around you will grow. The affirmation is I am deeply and profoundly beautiful and I'm loving this. So guys, if you're on my Patreon, you guys know for our self-love challenge today, we're doing the beauty spiritual bath tonight. All right, so I love you guys. I love you, I love you, I love you. That is your daily reading. Well, your weekend reading. All right, I love you much. Have a beautiful weekend, guys, and happy new year. Bye, loves.